here again. How's it going? Another video for you on MRC. Today is going to be a totally different video than anything I've done before. I got a suggestion to do a video based on who I'm about and what Mike's RC Corner is all about. So I thought that was um, a good thing to do so you guys could uh, learn more of what's going to be going on here and my, learn my RC experience and you can relate to your RC experience and and find that you know like uh, it's a it's a process to learn this hobby and it's a lot of fun and so I'll just start from the beginning I was just a little kid five six years old and uh, I was looking through Christmas uh, Sears catalog and I chose a, an RC car it was just a small plastic uh, Lamborghini and it came with a push button remote and uh, you would the car would always propel forward and you would press the button on the remote and the car would U-turn to the left in reverse and you just release the button as far as you wanted to go in the turn and then the car would keep going forward and uh, I remember playing in my parents kitchen in the house I grew up in and even stack the chairs and just uh, you know spent countless hours there probably went through a ton of batteries drove my parents crazy that was my first RC and, and I really liked that RC and I don't know whatever happened to it I'm sure it's in the garbage and later on uh, we lived on a dead-end street uh, and the neighborhood a teenager down the road uh, one day had his father's uh, hood open on his father's truck and he was charging the battery and he had a, to me a frog or grasshopper or something like that, I'm not 100% sure and uh, I'd be riding my bike and this RC would go whizzing by me and I thought it was cool so I'd hang out in his driveway and talk to him but he never did let me uh, try our RC out and I understand now why because it's a hobby grade type of thing not a toy so and so I always piqued my interest and I guess it just kind of laid there in the back of my brain and then eventually I moved out of my parents house and I rented a house in the town of Vineland Ontario and uh, I would come home from work and uh, off the highway there is a couple fast food places like a subway and I would buy a sub and stuff and there was a huge parking lot and way on the other side of the parking lot was a paintball field and an RC track and I would just grab a sub and pull on down there, eat my sub looking at some of these guys out there with their RCs and so but hey, this is a good place to run these RCs this might be a cool thing to get into so in short story I bought a uh, one ten scale buggy off eBay, just a generic brand, off brand. Uh, came with a brush motor, nickel and cadmium battery, wall brick, you know, charged 10 hours, got four minutes run time. I end up with a red cat truck like that. I bring it down to this track and I get three laps and my batteries are dead. Uh, those were a little frustrating and I realized, you know, nitro is the way to go for longer run times. So I got into some nitros. Uh, one you can see is the channel art on my YouTube channel, a 1.8 scale Truggy from Team BTX. I bought a magazine and I saw their ad in the magazine and I decided to go for that. That was a fairly uh, expensive purchase and stuff. What ended up happening is I ended up having to move from that house so I moved closer to work. So I ended up 30 minutes away from the track at Vineland and these RCs were too loud to run out in my neighborhood and so I just put them in my basement and then a uh, year or so later down in life I met my wife and we got married and she moved in so we moved her stuff into my house and uh, my RCs were just there on the floor take up space and she's like I've seen these but you never use them so maybe you should use them or get rid of them so I was like well I can't use them here on the street so maybe I'll, I'll put them up for sale and I'll buy something else I never got to really sell them I ended up making trades I ended up with a guy 30 miles away who I kind of knew through high school and um, he had a track at his house and he got me going I got into a two-wheel drive slash I got into a 1.8 scale nitro uh, off nut buggy and I still have that off nut buggy today I really love it I converted it to brushless um, I I learned from him a lot, but I also realized after a while that he was padding his uh, pocketbook with um, making deals for me. Uh, I was getting stuff from eBay and giving it to him for cost, and he was selling it online for profit. And 
be some things to me used for more than what it was worth until I figured this all out. So I left that scene. It was a bad scene, and I think it's bad ethics, and that's bad for the hobby. And so, anyways, I I learned on my own, and I started learning how to fix these. So I bought and sold online, eBay, Kijiji. And I grew my fleet, saving money up from what I made and from Christmas and stuff. So eventually, I I um, sold some stuff to a guy, and he, he bought stuff for his son. It was a 16 scale truck. And he realized that so, you know we were good friends. Was hit off at the top, so he invited me out to uh, his friend's house. who had a backyard track. Um, we went there for a couple of years. It had a timing system. We were aced every Friday night. It was a hoot. Um, some of those guys are still my friends. That whole scene's disappeared just because life changes. But uh, you know, the seven eight guys that were there, I'm still friends with three or four of them, and I text them Facebook, and and we all raced down at Vineland, and that's where I got the the option to try my skills there, because these guys are all good drivers, and I could hang with them, so I thought I'd be good enough to be in Vineland, and that's where I race. Um, but I realize now that you don't need to be a good driver in order to go race at the track level, club level. It's for all ages, for all different skills of driving from the beginner to advanced expert. So that's one thing I learned. So um, yeah, that's what Ar Mike's RC Corner is all about. Um, my life has changed now. My family's growing. I don't have time to race. I love this RC and just to spend more time in it, I decided to start this channel. Uh, my workbench is in the corner of my basement, it's Mike's RC Corner, and now I've brought it here to YouTube. I uh, love it, I have a lot of fun, I love your comments, I love uh, all the interaction, and you guys help make this fun and a great channel. So that's my story, I hope you can relate to it. You don't have to know everything, you can learn as you go, and uh, uh, it's a great hobby, we can share information together. So anyways guys. I'd like to hear your story, I'd like to hear what your first RC was, how you got started. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you again next time.